And the Delta State Governor, Right Honorable Sharif Abouroui, has said the state was among states in the country with most arable land for sustainable agriculture and food security in the country. Our summer correspondent, Pamadura Friday, reports that Governor Abouroui stated this when he received a courtesy call officials of the African Development Bank (AFDB) and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, led by the Chief agro-industrial economist Dr. Chuma Ezedima at the government house at Saba. decision to cite this project in Delta State. And we know after the assessment, we believe that we deserve it. However, it is important to state that we are one of the states that has the largest arable land in Nigeria. We cultivate crops ranging from cassava, maize, young rice, assorted vegetables, and even rubber, which can be grown in commercial quantities. Also, because of our closeness to the coastal line, the Atlantic Ocean, we also we are also into agriculture. It's second to none because of our proximity, I've like said, to the Atlantic. Finally, the establishment of this special agro-processing zone is something that we desire in the state. On his part, Dr. Ezede Mal said the visit was a preparatory mission for the establishment of the second phase of the special agro-industrial processing zones program in Nigeria phase of the special agro-industrial processing zones. As you know, it's an industrial complex and, and requires a lot of investments. And because of that, we would like to know um, where the sites are in terms of the agricultural uh, hubs and then uh, where the agricultural transformation centers are located. Basically, what has the state done in terms of acquiring these areas? and what has the state done in terms of ensuring that they are environmental and socially acceptable. Uh, so we're basically we're looking at two, docu two issues. One is that we would like to see a complete business plan in the form of a feasibility study. And then the second is that we would like to see an environment and social impact assessment study. And um, that gives us an indication of the readiness of the state to be able to participate.